We've been talking about this school festival for God knows how long. We're finally, it looks like, going to be able to hear this concert slash performance slash musical slash everything. I'm just excited to see this goddamn school festival. What is up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 23. I gotta write that down. Last episode, we had the final moments of the fight between Gentle and Deku and the La Brava power up and trying to sneak our way into UA. And ultimately, it did not work out, but he flung away Deku and then turned himself into UA at the end there, all for the sake of La Brava, because he cares so much for her because she cares so much for him. So I don't know what's gonna happen in these episodes. I, like I said, the only thing I know is something with Endeavor next episode. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, let me know what you think down below. Of course, if you guys wanna watch this and any of the shows I ever watched in the full length, check out that Patreon down below. You can also check out Early Access, stuff like that. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. Let's hop into this. My Hero Academia, season four, episode 23. <laughs> So they don't want it. They don't want anyone to know that them and Deku just fought. But Hound Dog can smell one of our students. Ooh, is Deku gonna do something crazy and help him out here? A joke, huh? A joke, huh? They're gonna say no. Okay, no need to cancel it. It was not an emergency. All thanks to Deku, who, if Deku was being honest, it was an emergency. But hey, we have things we have to do, so. That's all we hope for at the end of the day. I hope Deku's feelings reach who they want to reach to. You got shit to do, dog. I'd be like, come on, Ecto, let's go, man. Ecto is such a cool teacher. I never really thought about that, but that is a good perspective to look at things, you know? You guys have a very similar mentality in a lot of things. Yep. Yep, yep. I'm actually getting tingles. Like, it's weird. This is just a concert and an anime, but I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Yao Yo, Wait, why are they saying Yao Yorozu? I don't even see Momo out there. I would love to see that too, I can't lie. I got me smiling nonstop out here. I would love to see Ari smile. I guess we will see, won't we? I have a feeling they're gonna be enraptured by it. Look at Bakugo's face, man. We'll kill him with our sound, baby. I love that animation. They're getting this. She's hitting them notes. Ida's out there killing the moves. Oh, and this is where they do the disco ball thing? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, that was pretty badass. Bakugo's killing those drums, man. <laughs> we got everyone dancing in now. Oh, 
音楽の道には行かないごめんエソを書くことかかっこよくてさ That is so nice. Of course, the family would want her to be a musician, you know? They don't want the music you taught me to go to ways. Aww. It's always a very difficult thing telling your parents something you think they'll be disappointed in, you know? Some real ass parents. Go, Jiro! Just bringing me to tears out here. Making these kids fly. That's to be the most fire concert ever. The darkness around Aerie is lifting and she is now happy. This shit is fucking heartwarming out here. I knew the wait would be worth it for this shit. This shit is fucking. God damn, Invisible Girl is like fucking refracting. That is bad to the ass. Got to give a standing ovation for that one. <laughs> Romeo, Ghost of Azkaban. He was the king of Gondor! That was a lie. That is so funny to me. I am your father. Alright, Darth. I don't know what we're going for. Darth Voldemort? <laughs> Jesus. This is a little girl explaining a fucking concert, alright? <laughs> That's getting Deku to start crying. That's so adorable. That's an effective way to get rid of all that ice. Oh. <laughs> Even that guy's poking out. Critical boy, good job. Hey, thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, it's all good, man. We all came together. Yeah, her gorgeous dress. That's gotta be hot to people. Wearing a gorgeous a girl that can do both. Rip your head off and rip her hot dress. Oh, the two manly men, Tetsu Tetsu Kirishima. Oh my god, Nejire. Was she making like a rose of her energy in the fucking sky? That was a very nice air dance, I must admit. Let's vote. <laughs> Let me text in my vote. <laughs> they got pictures, obstacle course, they got crepes, haunted houses. Balloons, support, fucking everything, cooking, friendships, memories, cement juice boxes, airy friendships, love. What else don't we have, man? Nejire won? Shouts out to Nejire, man. Oh, when she finally got her candied apple. So he made one. Oh, this guy, Deku. That's why he was with Sato. Of course Sato would have that. That is adorable, man. That is adorable, dude. I think I could take notes from Deku out here, being like the best man, being best boy. Imagine if I was like a boyfriend, or if I had a girlfriend and she wanted a candied apple, but the fair was out of them, so I went and fucking made my own? What the hell? 
He is sticking to his guns. He is really trying to alleviate the trouble on her. My man, I just realized my man's an actual monkey, though. This cheap tea. Oh, you hate to see that, man. I am excited for this next episode, though. No lie. The inner... The inner weeb and cringe and everything that's just so passionate and heartwarming about me lit up immensely this episode. Because goddamn, was that beauty pageant concert and play from all of them. Was this school festival not just amazing in and of itself? Like It was literally, in my opinion, amazing. And I'm so glad that I was able to watch. I'm so glad Aerie had the time of her life. That meant so much to Deku and Mirio and myself that I that is the number one takeaway for me this episode is that Aerie had a good time we accomplished that Deku was best boy for making her a candied apple that concert phenomenal the whole Jiro her father mother being scared to tell him that she wanted to be a hero instead of making music just such a nice little touch in there that they didn't need to add whatsoever you know the the kids that were questioning and criticizing the concert from earlier realizing they liked it and, and apologizing again a nice little thing that you didn't need to add and it was just made it so much more worth it bakugo killing the fucking whole school with his music you know killer the fucking beauty pageant seeing everyone oh, and like i can't lie to you Back in high school, I hated high school. Like, I would uh, just wish I would gotten out of there, you know? Like, come on, let's go into summer, let's go into fucking college, whatever we got after this. But I miss some of the curricular activities of high school. I miss seeing some of my friends, you know? That feeling that you got, like that feeling Nedre got, just looking around saying, oh, hey, there's Mirio, there's there's Aerie, you know? Oh, hey, there's Tomic, you know? Like, there's, there's everyone, you know? It's just like, I, I miss that feeling of school. And I, I don't get that anymore. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. My allergies are killing me. But I never thought about this until Deku specifically said it last episode. But it would make sense that him and uh, um, fucking Gentle have a lot of similar feelings and outlooks on life. You know, they just want to they want to leave the world with their name imprinted on it. Deku is a 100% wants to do great things, but... If you can't do great things, you can't do great things, you can't do great things, as, as Gentle's been told over and over and over again, you know, he's like, all right, I'm going to leave my path or leave my print on this world in a different way. And not spoilers for Netflix's Daredevil or, Daredevil or anything, because you guys have definitely seen, see, should have seen that by now. Jesus, I'm fucking freaking out. But Deku relating himself to Gentle saying, I am like one bad day or I am one horrible time away from being you. It's exactly like the Punisher and Daredevil, because they're very similar, but Punisher kills people. And so he's like, you're literally one bad day away from being me. And it's like, you know, it's crazy to think how the slightest philosophical change in somebody's look on life can vastly choose the path that they go down, which can be very different from another path. You know, it's just crazy to me. And this very much proved it right here. Very much proved it. Also... At the beginning of the episode, when it's like 10 minutes until the play starts and Deku still hasn't shown up yet with the one thing he said he was going to buy hours ago, I've been on the other side of that. We're, we're going to a movie or we're going to a concert or something. We have one friend that we're wait on, waiting on that is taking forever. I have been on the other side where I'm waiting on that guy. I'm rarely ever. I like to be on time. I'm rarely ever the friend who you need to wait for. So that... I related with I relate my friend group is like that but man that's this is a crazy episode I'm excited for this fucking finale I'm excited with Endeavor I can see Endeavor in the thumbnail so I'm just I'm just looking forward to this if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know what you thought down below of course check out the patreon follow me on twitch follow me on twitter thank you Denver squad peace out have a great day